two rail sweep is uh, the cousin of one rail sweep, sweep one, sweep two. So last week we talked about sweep one and we went through those tutorials. This week we're going to do sweep two as this is going to be necessary in the paddle project to be able to do some two rail sweeps. So we are going to open this file here, two rail sweep, and when you open it up, you should see something like this. We're going to work in the perspective view. So double click on perspective. And I've added these images in here so you can see what we're going to construct. We're trying to construct this car mirror shape here. So we've got some curves that have been placed here for us and we're going to walk through this together. So the command is going to be sweep two and we're going to type that into the command line sweep two. And the first thing it's going to act, ask us for is the first rail. So in this case, we're going to try and create a surface around these with these curves that we have. And you can see we've got a curve here and we've got a curve here, which are going to be our rails and they're different shapes. So first rail, I'm going to select this red line. It's going to ask me for my second rail, which is going to be this red line. And now it's going to ask me for the cross section curves. So I have this large one down here transforming to this one here. And once I have those all selected, I'm going to hit OK and enter. It's going to give a seam point, which we just want to make sure it's located on the same section of the uh, cross-section curves. Hit enter again, and you will get this command line. So at this point, we're just going to say OK. Now we have created this rather complex 3D shape from some t simple 2D curves. So that's sweep two, two different rails, two different shapes, sweeping from one cross section to another. So now we're going to create the housing for this thing. So we're going to come over to our menu here and turn on the housing curves. And it's going to turn on this blue curve. And we might as well turn on the mirror curve as well. So that's a surface that was just created for us. So we're going to uh, see that we've got a rail here and a rail here. We've got two different rails. And there's sometimes when you look at this, and this might look like a single shape, that it's going to be helpful to divide this in two and you're going to split it, which you're going to do on your paddle project as well. So we're going to repeat sweep two in the command line. Our first rail will be this top one. Our second rail will be this one. And then we are going to select the outside edge of this shape right here and hit enter. Seam point is good, so we're going to hit enter again. And we can preview what this is going to look like here. And we can press OK. So we have created this rather complex three dimensional shape out of some very simple 2D curves using the sweep to command. Setup is the same as, if I hide these, as sweep one. You are taking a cross section curve, blue shape, and you're sweeping it along a rail. In this case, you are sweeping it along two rails to provide some transition in shape. Sweep two. 